now it's over to Maura. Thanks, Mark. How many times have you gone to a cosmetic counter and spent 50 or hundreds of euro on products that would just adorn your dressing table and they will never be used again? Why does a product that has done wonders for your friend's skin make your skin feel terrible? Well, over 80% of people don't know their actual skin type and end up using the wrong kind of products. Well, author and specialist Dr. Leslie Bauman is about to publish her book, The Skin Type Solution, here that will revolutionise the way we look and understand our skin. Now, with her this morning is Dr. Patrick Tracy, who we have met on the show before. And Dr. Patrick Tracy is a pioneer, of course, in cosmetic medicine. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Leslie, you were here to talk to doctors in the Royal College of Surgeons last night, to give them a big lecture, and to speak about dermatology and skin conditions. And, of course, you teach dermatologists in the States and are widely known there through your television and, and through your book, of course, as well. Reading uh, the notes on you, what I couldn't believe was, and I would consider myself fairly well up on, on you know, cosmetics as I am a bit of a slave to them and of skincare products, <laughs> but I didn't realize that there were 16 different skin types. Absolutely, and, and that's what I'm here in Ireland speaking about to introduce the new typing system to doctors, but it's based on four main skin issues. Mm -hmm. The first one is if you're oily or dry. The second one is if your skin is sensitive or not. The third one is if you get pigmented problems, dark patches on your face, and the last one is if you have a tendency to wrinkle. So when you combine those, it gives you 16. So for example, I'm a dry, sensitive, not pigmented, tendency to wrinkle type. So I could be dry, sensitive, tendency not to wrinkle. You know, I could be the, a, a dry skin, but a different pig pigmentation. Exactly. So you would need a different product that I would need. And one of the big myths is that there's one product that's right for everyone. And that's just not true. Just as we all need different perfumes because of our body chemistry, mm -hmm. we all need different products. And of course, perfumes smell differently on me than they would on you because of your body type and your skin type. Um, how do we go about finding out exactly where we fit into? Now, your book is, is done in a way that it's a questionnaire. Exactly. You take a, a short questionnaire, mm -hmm. tells you exactly what your skin type is because I wanted to take the guest work out of it. So you take the questionnaire and then you go to your chapter and it will tell you everything about your skin and tell you exactly what products to buy at all different price points. So for example, there may be 10 cleansers that are right for you. Some of them are um, very inexpensive. Some of them are very expensive. Now we have to say at this stage that you don't have your own product line, but you do have in your book up to 2,000 products mentioned that are suitable for every skin type, but you're not endorsing any specific product. You've just gone out and tested these various products. Exactly. You've and taken the best. And it's my goal to help educate people to make their own decisions about skin care so they don't have to believe all the marketing claims that I feel are often hyped and untrue. And you don't believe that you have to go and spend 250 euro on a face cream? Absolutely not. There's many products out there that are inexpensive that are great. But if you do want to spend $250 on a cream, at least make sure it's one that's right for your unique skin type. Okay. Now, Patrick, uh, we've spoken on the show many times uh, about obviously your side of the house which is cosmetic medicine mm -hmm. and of course it's, it's massive in this country over the last few years and you've got a the Ellsbury Clinic in Dublin and now you've gone and you've opened one in Cork as well and how's that going for you? Ellsbury Clinic in Cork is going very well actually yeah, thanks just, very much indeed. Well it shows you how many people are actually interested in this but what Leslie is saying uh, you totally believe in that the basics that you must get the basics right? Absolutely I mean Leslie was the first professor of cosmetic dermatology in the United States. Mm -hmm. She's coming from a very good pedigree. She's a professor of dermatology there. And she, as you said, has no particular product mm -hmm. to endorse. And as a consequence of that, we have seen for many years, probably the last 80 years, that um, cosmetic people just throw creams at everybody as one type fits all. There's no doubt about it that um, for the first time, we've stood back from this and said that, number one, probably the cosmetic uh, people are going to have to put on the side of their products. Hopefully that will be the nice way to go, you know, whether it fits OD mm -hmm. or being dry, wrinkly or oily or not. And well, really what's happening is we're trying to enforce some sense of practicality or even regulation within that aspect of the market that yeah. doesn't exist at the moment. Because you see that, uh, of course, in your own industry as well, that a lot of people that would come to you with a lot of skin damage could have avoided a lot of that, Patrick. There's no doubt about it. We've 
particularly people that have got rosacea or possibly people that have got a lot of um, vascular marking okay. underneath their eyes and they're taking products that have got glycolic acid that's going to thin their epidermis and probably make any of these problems to your blood vessels worse because you're exposing because them. Because their skin would not be suitable for that, for example, and somebody else could handle Absolutely. peels like that. Okay, we're going to take a look at some of the women that all of us know, and then we're going to take a look at their skin types. Now, we're going to take a look at Kate Hudson first. Now, she's very young, a very beautiful woman, and tell us about her skin type. Well, let me just start out by saying that I'm not giving away any secrets of patients right. in my practice, and you really have to take the questionnaire to know for sure mm -hmm. what your skin type is. Um, but Kate Hudson is, I'm guessing, an ORNT, that's an oily resistant, not pigmented tight, meaning no, not a tendency to wrinkle. And the reason I believe that is she, I never see her look red or scaly on television. I've never seen her look tan. She does um, look like she always protects herself from the sun. So I think her tendency to wrinkle is a lot lower than someone like Paris Hilton, who you see tan all the time. In 20 years, Paris Hilton is going to have wrinkles. I don't think in 20 years Kate Hudson will because she looks like she takes such good care of her skin. Well, if she's anything like her mother, she's going to look fantastic. Of course, Goldie Hawn, one of the most beautiful women in her 60s mm -hmm. now. Okay, uh, Kate Hudson, that's our first. We're going to take a look at Catherine Hepburn. Now, Katherine Hepburn is a little different because she has is more pigmented skin. Now, pigmented skin doesn't have to mean dark skin versus light skin. It means if you get patches or not. And by reviewing pictures of her, and I'm a big fan of her in movies, right. um, you do see freckles on her. And she looks like she was tan um, when she was younger. And that's the reason as, uh, that she aged. And I actually have in one of my lectures a progression of pictures of her over the years. And you can see um, how she aged and, and ended up with wrinkles. And it's probably because during her time, people didn't wear sunscreen every day. They didn't. Well, now, would she be suitable to go to Patrick and to have a peel done? Oh, absolutely, and especially um, in her later years, something like Fraxel, laser, having a peel, there's many things he could do to help her skin. But prevention is always better, so if she had been wearing sunscreen for years and years and using retinoids, such as Isotrex or Retin-A, and using antioxidants, okay. she'd be more on the Kate Hudson end of the spectrum. Okay, darker skin, Lucy Lou. Right. Now, Lucy Lou has the advantage of probably not wrinkling because of her skin color protects her from wrinkles, but she's going to be more likely to get pigment. In fact, you can see that in this picture the freckles on her cheeks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when choosing skin care for someone like Lucy Lou, I would choose products that help get rid of the dark patches okay. that contain vitamin C or um, diff I actually give lists in the book of different ingredients to look for. Um, such as kojic acid, arbut, and vitamin C that can you help talk get about all that as well. Okay, exactly. excellent. Okay, the book is called The Skin Type Solution. It's going to be published here on the 1st of July? July 14th. It'll July 14th. Shelves. Absolutely. Well, it sounds great. It would save us all an awful lot of money. It's, it's just going back to basics, answer the questionnaire, read the chapter. You will know exactly what type your skin is, and then you can go and buy products from 5 euro to 500 euro if you want, but at least you know what you are buying and exactly what suits your skin type. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're off to London now. I am. And I want to point out, this book was rewritten for UK Ireland. It's okay. not the American Because we have different book. skin types Absolutely. here and all that. So and Dr. Patrick Tracy, thank you very much for Thanks joining so us this morning. morning as well. Thanks, thank Leslie. you so much. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Thank you.